This is Dan Bjorklin, Landis Technical Advisor, and I'm in the research plot just north of Farnhamville. And I saw something on the Sky Scout thermal imagery that says we're going to have some disease directly behind me, maybe in about 100 feet. So let's go take a look and see what we can find. So I'm in this first area of disease indicated by uh, Sky Scout's thermal uh, imagery. There's a slight temperature increase right where I'm standing, which would indicate potential disease, and I want to show you what I found. So this certainly looks like northern corn leaf blight, which we've seen in other fields this year in susceptible genetics. So this was the first area that it indicated some disease. Just a little bit further in, stronger indication. We've got a lesion there. We have a lesion right here. When I talk about potential outbreak, this is what I mean. I mean, all these plants in this area, they're just covered in lesions. And as soon as that gets up the plant, and this is only the 14th, we could be in difficult times. This is exactly where Sky Scout told me to scout. So I'd say Sky Scout did a phenomenal job of indicating that there was disease present in this field. With this disease, it likes wet conditions, moderate temperatures. We're going to get that the rest of this week. I would want to spray this field immediately. Okay guys, we have scouted this field and it's 90 degrees and I really love this stuff. Not because we found potential uh, challenges, but because we could prevent a potential big loss what I call the big one, by, find, by finding these diseases. I've never been able to take a quarter or even half a section and break it down so that in 20 minutes I could utilize some kind of a surveillance program that would say in this area of one acre, this is where you have the, the potential for the most disease. And that's what we found here, um, as, as, you, as you saw. Um, that might have even been the onset of where this northern corn leaf blight started in this field because it, I mean, there were multiple plants that had multiple lesions. That's your incubator in this field. It's July 14th. All those spores keep flying and they keep moving out further and further from that area and that's how you have an outbreak that gives you a 50 bushel loss in the field. So guys, this program works. I can't tell you, I can't stress enough the importance of scouting your fields for potential disease. It's out there this year. Dan Bjorklund, Landis Technical Agronomist, signing off till next time.